5 color grading tips for DaVinci Resolve 18 and 18.6. If you don't want to use the adjustment layer but you want to save your effects from your notes, you can use a power grade. In the color page, let's say you have a grade with a bunch of effects and you want to use this grade on multiple clips in your projects but also in other projects. Well, go to gallery here and select the power grades. Right click on the image and select grab still. And now the grade is saved in the power grade folder which means that all the notes and grades are saved in this still. And stills here is almost the same but you can only use it in one project. And the power grade you can open in all your projects. And when you have an ungraded clip, go to the power grade, apply grade and then all the effects and notes will appear. Sometimes it's really difficult to set the right exposure for your skin tones, especially when the lighting conditioning is a bit difficult, but here's a really easy way to set that right. In the color page go to effects and look for false color, drag it onto a new note. And now you know exactly what the exposure of the skin is. It should always be around 60 IRA. Of course it depends on the lighting condition and the color of the skin. For example, outside in the bright sun, it might have to go over 70. It also depends on the look that you are going for. But this way you know exactly what the exposure of the skin is. Most of the time I use a color space transform to turn my S-Log into Rec 709. But you can also do it automatically with DaVinci Resolve. Just go to project settings here, then color management and then color science. And set the color science to DaVinci color managed and then the output color space to Rec 709. Most of the time DaVinci Resolve will recognize your footage and will bring it in the Rec 709 color space automatically. But if it doesn't happen, right click on the clip and select the input color space. And then DaVinci will bring your footage in the correct color space without using a color space transform. Have you heard about the qualifier focus tool in DaVinci Resolve? A really easy but also helpful tool to help your color grading process. Qualify your focus. This is a super simple tool but very helpful. In the color page, click here on the three dots and enable qualifier focus. And now when you hover over the image, you can see here in the vector scope where the colors and tones are. So you can check quick for example if the skins are on the skin tone line. But you can also see it in the waveform. Here for example you can check if the white balance is correct. If you hover over the right part of the image and you only see one ring here, it means that the white balance is correct. But if it separates into three rings, then you know your white balance is off. So this is a really helpful tool. During a color grading process, it's really important that your shots are matching. So here's a really easy way to compare clips. Comparing clips is something you have to do quite often when you are color grading a project. All with different lighting conditions, colors and maybe even different cameras. But of course you want to match all the shots. So here's a way to easily compare them in the color page. Here turn on split screen, then select selected clips. And now when you select two clips, they will show next to each other and it will make it a lot easier to color match. You can even see both of the waveforms here. So now when you select two clips, you will see them side by side and this is going to make it a lot easier to match them. Okay guys, here are five tips to improve your color grading process. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe.